Welcome back. And today we're talking six easy tips to up your bed game. Now, in the hotel design biz, I am known for my super yummy, delicious beds. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I do with them. And if you stay to the end, I've got a super secret pro tip that I'm gonna share with you guys on how to get that extra little something for your bed too. Here's the dealio. Bedding is super personal. Everybody has their specific preference about what they want. Do they want firm, hard, cozy? Do, are you hot all the time? Are you throwing off your covers? Are you freezing all the time? You need lots of layers of yumminess? We can make all of that happen, but you need to know how a bed is built. And when you know how it's built, then it's easy to make your decisions for you. Now, of course, like everything else that you're going to design, it also has to be in alignment with or make the statement about your design style. That's super important. Are you a minimalist? Maybe you're a boho gal or a grand millennial. It doesn't matter. The way you want to think about a designer bed is it's composed of a series of layers. Now, the first one is your actual frame. Do you have a four poster? Maybe you have a platform bed. Maybe you have one of those frames that just doesn't show at all. You just need to know what you're working with or what you wanna work with and make design solutions around that. So we'll get to that in a second. So number two is your mattress and your box spring combo. Now, some beds have box springs, like the big frame four poster, and some of them don't. So it doesn't really matter. You just need to know what you're dealing with there. That's for the second layer. Now your third layer is actually your sheeting. Now that's a big subject and we're gonna talk about that in just a second. The fourth layer is your pillows, your actual head pillows that you're sleeping on. There's typically one that you'll actually use to sleep on. And then there's also maybe one other one that has a decorative sham on it. We'll go over that in detail in a second. Now the fifth part is what I call the top element. And that can vary a huge amount depending upon your design style, where you live and kind of the time of year. It can be something as simple as a cotton blanket if you're living in South Carolina, or if you're up in Alaska or Canada, you may want like lots of super fluffy duvets and things like that. And we'll go over all of that. And lastly, the sixth layer is any decorative elements like accessory pillows or maybe a footband or a throw, something like that. And you can get carried away with that really quickly. So I'll show you some really good solutions that'll make your bed look designer. Guys, there are thousands of ways to do beds. It's super, super detailed. Now we're on YouTube, so we're gonna kind of cover the basics today. But if you wanna know more about how to do a deep dive, everything from like how to pick a mattress to understanding that dreaded thread count, then you're gonna wanna sign up for the club at thedesignclub.com and make sure you're on that list because it's opening in a couple of weeks and there'll be deep dives and places where you can ask questions and 24 hour a day help. Oh, you're just gonna love it. So what I thought I'd do today is go through a couple of really beautiful designer beds that I think everyone can appreciate and let's take them apart, understand how those layers are put together with them and that'll help you guys understand how to build a bed for you. So let's take a look at this first one. Oh my gosh, I just love this beautiful four poster. Now this is going to be a transitional bed because the four poster alone has a bit of a reference to the traditional, but in transitional, right? We always reinterpret a lot of things. And so the way they've done it is super streamlined. So that frame reads, transitional all the way. And then what they've done is they've kept it in an all white. It's a classic. It's probably my favorite type of bed. They've layered it with beautiful white sheeting, a big fluffy duvet, and then on top of that, an all white quilt. And then their decorative sham is just a little bit of something that has a white and kind of a linen color combination to it. So that is 
probably one of my go-to styles of beds because it meets a lot of different style statements because it's very transitional and it has a lot of fun layers and it always looks clean and beautiful and yummy like you want to just jump right in. So my first tip is you can always do an all white bed in any of the style statements. Okay now this second bed that we're going to take a look at also transitional but starts to deal with colors and things a little differently so tip number two on this would be if you're in the transitional category you can start to combine a couple of patterns but add in some planes so that it doesn't get overwhelming because then you start to push into the traditional styling but look at this beautiful bed it's got a lovely little pinstripe percale sheeting set a beautiful quilt on the end of the bed that has these lovely florals on it in the kind of navy and red it has sort of a maybe eastern seaboard kind of vibe to it which is really lovely the sham pattern on the outside echoes that super lovely transitional bed and the tip there is you begin to introduce a little bit of color but you still keep it calm with some solids that match these next couple of beds are emphasizing natural materials and that is actually tip number three which is that if you fall anywhere into that kind of boho beachy any of those kind of categories with your design style statement you for sure want to incorporate some of these natural materials like i love the kind of natural linen look to this one bed and then it's got a big sort of yummy woven on the end as a big blanket with a lots of yummy fringe boho girls this is your kind of bed you would definitely want to take a look at that one now you can also take natural materials and for all of you guys out there or someone who wants a little bit more of a masculine statement you can introduce natural materials like the two little leather stools at the bottom or maybe even an accent pillow in leather and then this bed instead of doing something super fluffy as a top finish actually has a flat quilt in kind of this lovely sort of an oatmeal linen finish on the bed so that's a great look again natural materials kind of gives you a little bit more of that mix boho or transitional but a little bit more of that masculine vibe which is a great looking bed the next type of bed that we're going to look at is something that kind of falls into the traditional categories and this one for sure feels very grand millennial to me and the tip here is that if you're living in that traditional or grand millennial idea you can layer up on the patterns and really go to town here's the key though you want the color story to stay consistent from each pattern so that it doesn't just look like a crazy quilt for example with this gorgeous little bed oh my gosh first of all there's the lovely little floral wall covering that's happening that that is a layer unto itself but then they did this sweet little green and white gingham and then they added patterned roses both on the quilt and on the shams and so all four of those patterns mix up so it definitely says traditional but note that they've got that green note running through all of it and there's plenty of white space in between so lots of patterns but kind of pulled all together with that one color note and that's a great way to do a traditional style bed if you're looking for something kind of maybe in the more contemporary range but you really want your bed to feel kind of warm and cozy oh my gosh this bed nails it for you so the tip here warm and cozy is you want to keep the patterns to a minimum or none at all and layer up with texture oh my gosh this is super fantastic they've actually done the bed frame in a cognac shearling oh i want to leap in it naked it's so amazing but then they also put a big duvet cover on there that has this natural linen finish there's some linen sheets and yet another tone so there's just lots of different textures happening they've got a little accent pillow in a kind of a, a fur thing going on so there is lots and lots of texture so that's your tip if you want warm and cozy but you're leaning a little bit more towards that contemporary vibe that's how you can cover it beautifully for all you guys out there that fall slammed into that 
contemporary, Japandi, Scandi, minimalist category. We've got a bid for you too that still looks designer, but it's super simple. So the tip here is keep it simple. Zippo patterns, no patterns whatsoever. I love this bed from the standpoint that it is nothing but this super low statement that has this gorgeous linen duvet cover on it that just looks super sleek and simple. Sheets are white, pillowcases are white, and two little Euro shams done in the same exact linen as the duvet cover. You're done. You've got a gorgeous statement there, super minimalist, but still looks yummy. It still looks like you wanna jump inside and kind of snuggle up on a Sunday morning. So now I know bedding is a little overwhelming. And if you're feeling like your brains are exploding about all of this, you could get a little bit of help by going to a couple of some of my favorite vendors that actually have what they call bedding starter bundles. And let me just show you a couple that I just adore. And they're a good way to get you started with things, which is, West Elm has this beautiful all organic cotton slub blanket and duvet cover on it with some beautiful jersey sheets. Oh, that is fantastic. They also carry another little line and you can buy all of these pieces together. So that makes it really super simple to at least get like three of those layers taken care of and you know you can rely on the fact that they'll look good together. This West Elp linen one, oh, it's also beautiful. A white duvet cover and then a coverlet done in sort of a oatmeal-y Belgian linen and then crisp white percale sheets. Ooh, that's a beautiful starter set as well. Or, oh my gosh, look at this one. This is from Pottery Barn, and they just introduced it for their new Airstream collection. And it's so fun, it actually says Happy Camper on it. So it's got a little gray and white striped co uh, duvet cover, and then little patterns on the actual sheeting that are super cute and fun. They're very, very fun, and it makes the bed look super yummy. And you could do it in your Airstream, or you could just do it on your bed, I'm sure. So, Williams-Sonoma Home also has an absolutely perfect, no-brainer, no-miss, cannot lose, white, and this is the hotel-style bed that always works as a good basic, which is white with a banded edge, and you can get that banding in kind of a charcoal or in a navy. Super handsome. If you're dealing with something and you want it to be super simple, you can use that starter set that'll take you all the way home. Another Williams-Sonoma home one, maybe you're a little bit more of a beach style or you needed something a little bit lighter. They do something with an embroidered stitch on the edges of both the pillow shams and the sheeting. So the all sheeting is white and then there's this pretty little like sea blue uh, stripe that kind of runs along the edge with a little bit of a band. That's a great little starter set. A third one, if you're in the traditional mode and you just kind of don't want nowhere to go, awesome for Williams Sonoma Home. It's almost like a Delft tile blue pattern for the duvet and some white sheets and a sham cover. So that's a great starter set. And we can't forget Serena and Lily. They do some beautiful bedding. Now, it can be a little bit pricey, but if it's for your primary bed, go ahead and splurge. It's something you're gonna spend eight hours a night, I hope in every day. They have this beautiful little gingham one in blue and white with a fun little accent pillow that has little tassel -y bits on the ends. That's super happy. If you are beach or even coastal, you're gonna love that one. So these are bedding bundles that we're gonna link to down below that'll help you get started on your new bed. Now, you guys that have stayed to the end, here's my super secret pro tip which is this. You know when you go into a resort hotel and you get into those beds and those sheets are just super smooth and soft and yummy and you just can't get out of those beds? There's a secret and we know how to do it, which is hotels use only flat sheets, which you can do, and they get them done in professional laundries that have what are called hot head pressers. And these suckers, 
slam those sheets down between, I don't know, 200 pounds of pressure, and they just mash all of the little fibers on the sheet way down and press them hard so that when they come out, they come out all super smooth. Now, you can do this too. You can do three flat sheets on your bed and take them to a professional launderer that has a hothead press Oh my gosh, you're never gonna leave your bed when you're done. So guys, now you know enough to get out there and start designing the perfect bed for your space. Now, I know designing for your style can be super tough. So if you feel like you'll need a little bit more help, you definitely wanna sign up for my email list at thedesignclub.com and get on that list because we're opening in a couple of weeks and you are gonna be so glad you did because there is so much there, lots of deep dives, lots of intricate information about how to get started on projects. There's 24 hour a day access to things. There's chats. You're just gonna love it. You're gonna go crazy. It's gonna be so much fun. And now what I want you to do is I want you to go right here to this button and click this, which takes you directly directly to my newest video on designer bedroom trends and how to make a perfect sleep sanctuary just for you. And I'll see you guys next week.